Whether you're restoring classic cars, designing custom white body kits, or just want precise measurements for a reverse engineering project, a good 3D scanner can be a total game changer. In this video, I'm comparing the Einscan HX2 and the Einstar provided to us by 3D Wonders. For the test, we'll be scanning a few items, a 1-2-3 block, a small turbo, and a section of my Honda Beat. The Einscan HX2 is a professional grade hybrid scanner retailing for about $10,000. It's aimed at professionals who need top tier accuracy and versatility like automotive engineers or high end fabrication shops. The Einstar, on the other hand, comes in at just under $1,000, and it's marketed as an entry level option for hobbyists, small businesses, and anyone dipping their toes into 3D scanning without breaking the bank. So right off the bat, there's a massive price gap, but is the HX2 worth 10 times more? Let's find out. In terms of build quality, both scanners feel solid. The HX2 is slightly heavier, but it actually feels lighter, or rather more comfortable to hold than the Einstar because of the ergonomic handle. The Einstar is compact, but it would feel more secure with a dedicated handle. Luckily, there are a lot of free 3D printed models you can find on the web, like this one right here. First up, we're scanning the 123 block with the HX. And as a disclaimer, I'm using rapid mode, which is a structured light option for the HX2, to show an apples to apples comparison against the Einstar. And none of the objects have any surface treatment like 3D scanning spray. They'll just be scanned raw on one side. The difference between structured light technology between the two scanners is that the HX uses blue LED light, while the Einstar uses infrared. And the blue LED is supposed to perform better scanning reflective objects, but these scans show the Einstar performed way better. So, 10 points for Einstar. 10 points for Gryffindor! Don't get me wrong though, this doesn't mean the HX isn't capable of scanning something this small, it's just better to use laser mode because it performs much better. Next up is the blown turbo from my Honda Beat. I feel like this is more along the lines of what people want to use the scanner for than the 123 block. You can make a watertight model after scanning and 3D print it true to size to help with mock ups or have a tiny keychain or dust tchotchke if you're into that sort of stuff. Performance wise, the HX has an accuracy of up to 40 microns and a resolution of 50 microns. That level of detail is perfect for capturing intricate curves precise hole sizes and location, and even engine components. Meanwhile, the Einstar has an accuracy and resolution up to 100 microns. And for most hobbyist applications like scanning dashboards, fenders, or bumpers, that's more than enough. But as you can see between the two turbo scans, the results are pretty similar. Both scanners picked up the housings pretty well and even parts of the stainless steel oil fittings. There are some floating artifacts on the HX scan, but other than that, they look pretty much the same. And finally, I'm scanning the rear quarter panel of the Beat. I feel like this is where you can start to see the difference in performance between the two scanners. The blue LED tech on the HX is able to collect data much quicker and more accurately than the Einstar. In the Einstar scanning window, the point cloud turns from orange to green, indicating it captured enough data for that area, and it takes a couple passes before you can get the whole section to turn green. When comparing the two scans, we end up with similar results again. The main difference is the speed at which you could capture the data, and I think it's really important if you're in a production setting where you need reliable and accurate scans quickly. I had the opportunity to scan my car with the HX, which I made a separate video about, and you can learn more about the laser mode that I use for the car. I think if you're a professional fabricator, engineer, or serious car modifier who needs ultra-precise scans and can justify the cost, the Einscan HX2 is definitely worth the investment. But if you're a DIYer, hobbyist, or just getting into 3D scanning, the Einstar is an awesome budget-friendly option, and it gets the job done for 90% of the projects for 10% of the cost. And right now, there's a year-end sale for the Einstar scanners that ends January 6th. So just go to 3dwonders.shop. And if you use the code IMMYMADE, you get store credit towards your 3D scanner. And if you already own a 3D scanner and want to upgrade, you could trade up to an HX2 for 15% off. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe as always.
Thanks for watching.